The plague of wildfires across California has now claimed six lives and forced the evacuation orders for more than 100,000 people. Governor Gavin Newsom joined a local briefing with the state's top fire and emergency management officials and emergency responders battling the wildfires across Northern California. The governor had already declared a state of emergency and asked residents to heed the evacuation orders. Take a look. That number is from Southern California. The challenge that we're facing here in the state is now disproportionately impacting Northern California. And that is because of close to 12,000 lightning strikes that we experienced over a 72-hour period. Uh, just a day ago, I announced that we are struggling to address uh, the needs of suppressing some 376 fires in this state. That number has grown to about 560 fires in the state of California. You had a lot of sleeper fires. Uh, this we anticipated as the smoke cleared, as our reconnaissance efforts increased, as we compared and contrast uh, the federal efforts with the local and state efforts. Uh, that new number represents 560 active fires that we are addressing, trying to suppress here in California. The larger fires, the LNU fire that we briefed you here this morning, uh, this fire complex, what we refer to as lightning complex, is one of many lightning complex fires that we are addressing here in Northern California, the CZU complex and the SCU complex. The SCU complex in Santa Clara right now is about 10 percent contained. Uh, the reason I mark these two in points of contrast, 7 percent contained here, 10 percent contained down there, is these two fires represent two of the top 20 fires, largest fires the state of California has had to battle uh, in recent memory, arguably in modern recorded history. Uh, these lightning strikes uh, came exact week that we were experiencing some of the hottest temperatures ever recorded in human history. 130 degree temperatures in the southern part of the state of California. Um, arguably, still an open question, maybe the hottest modern recorded temperature in the history of the world. Uh, that's a remarkable statement of fact, also a statement of fact that the heat dome that we experienced over the course of last week has not only impacted the state of California, it's impacted the entire western United States as a consequence of that, and it's an important point. It's a consequence of that heat dome impacting the western United States. Fire conditions have increased in other states. We've also reached out across the border uh, into Canada for resources and support. And many of you up here recall it was 2017, the support that uh, we were provided and the support we provided in turn uh, of some of the best uh, wildfire, wild, wildfire firefighters in the world from Australia. Uh, we also have requests out uh, for uh, that talent. And not naive by any stretch how deadly uh, this moment is and why it is essential as the message has been amply re referenced over and over, I'll extend it one more time, that you heed the emergency notices and the evacuation orders, you take them seriously. 119,000 people so far have, because 771,000 acres has already been burned in the state of California, the equivalent to the size of the state of Rhode Island. We simply haven't seen anything like this in many, many years. Please take seriously those emergency evacuation orders. Now, six deaths have been linked to the fires, including three people who were found in a burned-down house in a rural area of Napa County and who have not yet been identified. A man in Solano County was also found dead on Thursday, and a helicopter pilot died in a crash while on a water-dropping mission in Fresno County on Wednesday.